What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can configure your device using Nones Enabler and your uh, Nones Generator from your blob in order to be able to downgrade with Prometheus on a jailbroken device. Now um, you probably remember that I made a video a couple of days ago on how to fix the errors on Prometheus or Future Restore, the latest version that has a bug. And also in that video that you should probably see if you're planning to downgrade, I also told you that there are two different ways that you can use in order to downgrade a device running iOS 10.x or 8.x or 9.x. So how you do it? At first there is the non collision method which doesn't require a jailbreak but it's harder to implement and you simply need to try over and over and over and over again until you get the device to, to boot that custom-made farmer for downgrade. Or you can use the Nones Enabler version if you have a jailbreak, for example if you want to go from 10.2 to 10.1.1 or from 10.1.1 to 10.2 or from iOS 8.x to 10.2 or 10.1.1 to jailbreak with Yalu. All you need to have is your blob saved and a jailbreak that has TFP0 or task for PID0 enabled. Now uh, Taiji jailbreak also has that enabled. I think Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.0 has it enabled as well. And Yalu jailbreak also has it enabled. So you should be set. Now um, let's, let's start. You need to create an SSH connection to the device. If your device is jailbroken with um, Taiji or Pangu on 8.x or 9.x, you should be fine because OpenSSH is running fine if you install it from Cydia and you can use it directly on terminal. If, you jailbroken, if you're jailbroken with Yalu, Yalu replaces the OpenSSH with Dropbeer and Dropbeer was um, limited by look at the desco and it has been um, made only to listen to USB. So in my next video I'm going to show you how to modify Yalu uh, jailbreak in order to enable SSH over Wi-Fi to be able to do this tutorial. But I assume that you already have SSH uh, being it on another jailbreak or by following another tutorial on the internet, I don't know. And I'm going to show you how to connect. So you need to write SSH root at and your IP address of your device. You need to go to settings to Wi-Fi, click on the name of your Wi-Fi network, in my case it's, um, um, it's Comcast and you will have IP address. In my case it's 192.168.1.5. If you did everything correctly you should see this and the password for this connection is Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. Alpine. Right. And you should see this. Now we can configure our device and nonce enabler in order to make use of our saved SHSH blobs. If you don't do this, you will not be able to use your SHSH2 blobs. They are simply useless. So what do we need to do? We need to set a couple of uh, commands. And we're going to start with, I'm going to make the uh, terminal a little bit bigger so that you can see. Uh, like this. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, NVRAM auto boot equal false. Hit the enter key, continue with nvram com.apple.system with capital S dot boot nonce equals and here is the tricky part. You need to take your SHSH2 blob for your device and uh, rename it from uh, SHSH2 blob to plist use plist and open it with uh, Xcode or whatever application you want. But do not forget that after you do all this procedure, you must make it SHSH2 back again in order to be able to use it. So here in the plist, it will open. You can also open it with a text editor. It has generator and here you have this little value as a string. You need to copy this value, make this one back again to SHSH2 in order to not invalidate it and paste that value that you copied from there in here. Press the enter key and now in order to verify that, that you configured your device correctly in order to accept your blob for downgrade, write nvram-p and here you should be able to see your command from here in here on com.apple.systemboot-nones. As you can see it's the same. This means that I 
uh, already configured my device correctly and it should be able to accept my bloops generated with this generator in here. And I can now start the restore. I'm not going to restore in this video because I'm already on Tempo 1.1 and I'm fine, but I'm planning to make a full tutorial on how to do this with Nonce Enabler in another video, probably these days, on my iPhone 5S. So stay tuned for that. And um, also, let me tell you a little something. If you did that and you suddenly no longer want to do this, no longer want to downgrade, uh, remember that you set the uh, boot arguments to false, which means that your device, if you restart it, will restart in recovery mode and get stuck in there. Now, in order to get out of the recovery mode, you can use a tool like Recboot. Let the phone boot in recovery mode, then use Recboot, is available in the description, and click Exit Recovery, and you should be good to go, it will boot normally. So don't be scared if your phone will restart in recovery mode. That's normal, because you set that too. So this is how you set Nonce Enabler, and this is how you configure your device for future restore um, downgrade using the Nonce Enabler method. Uh, I'm going to also make a video on how to use the um, uh, Nonce Attack or Nonce Collisions, which do not require a jailbreak but are pretty damn hard. So keep uh, on staying tuned and tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this video. Do not forget that I'm going to make a video on how to enable the SH, uh, sorry, SSH over Wi-Fi using Yalu soon, so stay tuned. Peace out.